so it is a pretty uh, interesting topic that we are going to start in continuation to our discussion about uh, google reviews today okay before we continue uh, there is some problem with the excel miner cloud version i tried later also it is not working i am expecting they will resolve it because we have tried with the uh, venkat's id also and it didn't work so i'm sure they'll resolve it but in the meanwhile if you haven't uh, you know installed excel miner plugin as a thing in your excel this thing you can do that it will be available for i think a month or so 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 trial period you can download it and then uh, you know work with it so just ensure that the assignments are completed using that the you can save the files i'll write the visualizations all that will be uh, a visualization is the only thing which is the acf plot and all that so that you can see and uh, do it i of course uh, i have already exhausted my period time period so i i want to depend on the cloud version so i hope it resolves so that is uh, about it um i will make a detailed uh, uh, recap i'll write it down in uh, the mind map and i'll save it i'll show it to you tomorrow i haven't done that as well so next topic is a pretty interesting topic probably the last topic for our course which is uh, text mining and uh, also pretty important because most of the data that today we are dealing with is in unstructured format so between structured and unstructured we also have what is known as semi structured now typically we have been dealing with only semi structured data we haven't been dealing with structured data because when you say structured data it is a very rigid schema it is a very rigid system oracle sql databases rdbms those kind of things csv files or excel files are essentially what is known as unstructured data because you have some kind of structure with reference to the columns you have some structure with reference to the names but you are at liberty to enter anything you can say serial number and enter a b c in that right so that is the definition of semi structured so we are dealing with three types of data but semi structured is still okay you can be putting in the structured category but most of the data that we are having today is in unstructured so if you remember the demo session at the beginning of the class almost two months back there i had mentioned that originally when we were dealing with data and uh, uh, the extraction of information from data it was basically highly structured layer of data therefore the extraction layer was pretty much weak the sql commands or anything was very weak no not much of uh, knowledge was or anything technology was required now we are dealing with unstructured data so the the types of unstructured data is basically call transcripts you call up your helpline number this call may be recorded for quality and training purposes so all calls are recorded and we have softwares available to give the transcript that is whatever has been spoken you will get it in a textual format emails that customers send to service center service at company name.com info at company name.com this will be a huge bottleneck we've already seen how naive base is used for the classification right but before naive base we'll have to do some amount of text analytics to be able to classify to be able to pull out the words to be able to capture the information social media feeds this is also another uh, major thing how how do particular people are reacting how this is there and that and of course speech transcripts field agents and sales people uh, not just field agents sales people we have doctors we have so many people they always speak into a dictaphone they carry a small dictaphone every now and then they'll speak into it and that will be done and of course interviews and survey questionnaires so many such instances are there all right so we have to gather now having this information as it is and trying to manually do it will be a huge time expenditure and therefore we need to be able to mine the information from this textual data and therefore we have the text so few words let us understand when we say bag of words for instance this is a a, a passage i won't say passage this is a, a small part from shakespeare's as you like it right 
all the world's a stage and all men and women merely play as they have their exits and entrances and one man in his time plays many parts now if this were to be a statement given to a student of literature he probably can write 15 pages right what is the definition what is the inner meaning what is the outer meaning <laughs> so many things they will <laughs> write about it and uh, if the same thing was given to a statistician he will see this right world has been used once stage has been used once men has been used twice women has been used once play has been used twice exit has been used once entrance has been used once and time has been used once so men two times where all the world's a stage all men man so men and man it is able to recognize the statistician or the person is able to recognize that this and this is the same word right now play we have play here where do we have play we have player so the first part of the word play and this part of the word play it is common therefore taken into account now what happened to all not there the not there a not there all right and all the and merely they have their and their and one in his time is there many parts is there parts is also not there okay so why these words have been eliminated elimination of parts is not correct so it is no 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 we haven't categorized anything see we have to know that words like all a uh, and all the and they have their and their and one in his many all these are connecting or filler words they don't really give any meaning right what does all the and all and you just look at those words they don't give any meaning so they are removed so this passage talks about if i were to highlight it it talks about world it talks about stage it talks about men and women it talks about playing it talks about exits and entrances it talks about many parts all right these are the main words and therefore this has been pulled so the objective of primary objective of any text mining is to be able to pull out important words or the the words that actually define that passage and ignore the that is a filler words so what we do is each row or a document so what is going to be text mining let us say we are going to pull out data from various people uh, text records um let us say we are talking about uh, uh some kind of a feedback feedback form so feedback forms are basically fill in the blanks or not fill in the blanks uh likert scale rating from 1 to 5 rating from 1 to 5 and the last they have any suggestions to improve you can use additional sheets if you want something now whatever is mentioned in the likert scale is not that important if somebody is very very unsatisfied and is giving 1 1 then why he has given 1 1 will be the explanation given in that explanation i came here the waiter was not uh, did not understand he got us a wrong order it took so much time it is unhygienic he will give explanation about that you see so we will be able to know so that is more important right so like this let us say i have 300 400 reviews or whatever has been written now each one of them is called a doc even an empty row is considered a document so if i have 300 reviews there may be some people have should lift a line or a blank right even that is a document because i have 300 if people have given the forms if they have selected some value some yes no yes no and then left the explanation blank even that is a document collection of these documents is called corp or corpora now there are some quirks in the language which we must train our system to know something like music all right people using upper and lower and proper case right the same thing represented in different cases punctuation marks okay filler words all for of my to and we have already seen those filler words now these quirks need to be taken into account okay then of course we have stemming jumping jumped jump all this belong to like we saw players plays the stem of the word is what about emotional symbols i'm sorry can you elaborate on that no how do you write laugh 